I can do it at the end as a bonus, give it a second try. But, luckily, we're not going to end immediately because, thankfully, I had two games prepared. So we're going to be doing this one instead. Renko Sugimi, uh, Tsukugimi's Longest Day. Also, I have to remember to actually put it up because, yeah, there we go. Cool. Of course I know what you are, Lich King. You're a skelly man. The objectively best gender. Or skelly woman. You don't objectify here. Actually, never to think about it. You say has heard my voice. Yes. <laughs> and you talked to me. As well as the other two moderators. I mean, honestly... I would like to do more stuff with fans in the future once uh, I can, I'm sort of confident enough to set it up and, I mean, it's not like I've never done stuff with that before. I've played fighting games against certain people before, but, um, man, it'd be like a dream to, like, be able to do, like, raiding with people who watch me on Twitch on, like, Final Fantasy XIV. That would be so dope. But, you know, that's, like, stuff that's long ways off. And it doesn't have to be anything that big, but uh, it's definitely things that I have thought about. <laughs> Your secret is out. Now you just gotta bear it all. Well, for now, though... One game may have failed, but hopefully this one won't fail. If this one fails, I'll be very surprised because it's a console game, so that would be kind of more problematic in some ways, but yeah. We're now going to be switching over to Ranko Sagumi's uh, Longest Day, which I will update that on the Twitches very quickly. So, for people that don't know, this is an interesting game for a couple reasons. One, because it's part of a PS3 collection that came out in like 2014, 2013, and it's, it's part of a collection called Short Piece. So, what it was is it was a bunch of um, animated shorts that were that was released in Japan with like a bunch of different animation direct uh, directors, and I think it was five in total. But one of the works was directed by Suda, and it was a video game, which is um, what we're playing today. So you actually get not just this um, like um, pretty short but like pretty cool arcade game, but you also get. Um, a bunch of, like, um, experimental animated shorts along with it, which is actually pretty dope. Alright, there we go. Had to enter it in manually because Twitch has been weird. But yeah, you'll also see how low budget the localization is for a couple of reasons. You'll, you'll see in a sec. This was not a very high budget localization, I can tell you that for free. I don't even know, I think, who... Who localized it? Was it XC? Uh, no, it was Bandai Namco. Huh. Well, at least in Europe. Huh, go figure. But uh, yeah, you'll see why it wasn't very um high budget. But hey, that's completely fine. I'd rather have low budget release. Then, no release at all. My voice is the worst, so I don't know how I'd feel. I mean, to be fair, I felt the same way for my voice. I still kind of do. It sounds very nasally and nerdy. It sounds like a very nerdy voice. Oh, 
逃げよおっさんの古傷的なのと一緒にすんなって、はあ、でもマジで痛いわ痛いならカラオケショー一気に解決するってうんMan, that is a that is a high school girl run animation if I've ever seen one. The road is as clean as the Silent Hill 2 HD collection roads. No, you, you'll see what I mean by low budget. Like, this part's fine. Subtitles? Like, this part's fine with the localization, but there's one thing in particular where I looked at it and just went, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, so everything's pretty normal so far. Which means we need to, yep, up the presentation, let everyone know it's a Suda game. Or is it just me and or has it gone extremely it's gone extremely quiet? Why has it gone extremely quiet? Why? Why is there no volume? Why? Oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> okay, yeah, this is not on my end, folks. This is the game. This is another one where it's just decided, yeah, you know what, don't feel like working. Wow! Well, hard restart on that one. Because there's no budget for the sound part. Yeah, I guess you're right. Man, stream gods are not being kind with this one. Do you know what the weirdest part is? The cutscene before was perfectly fine. Like that had audio no problem. So what the hell? <laughs> it just decided not to. Oh, this is gonna be a fun session, I can tell. <laughs> Wonder if my killer is dead again? I mean, at this point, we might as well. Or do you want to just go in, um... I mean, do we really need to hear them speak? Do we really know to need to know the intricate prop plot of Ranko Sugumi's Longest Day? I mean, I would like sound. It would be kind of appreciated. I guess if worse comes the worse, I can voice act her. I could be a snobby, I could be a snobby teenage Japanese girl with an eye patch. What do you mean, please no?
All right, so. There's no sound yet, so that's all fine. This game was made in Unity, which is a good engine. I'm making an executive decision if we get many problems, we play Killer as Death again. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, sounds fine now. Oy vey. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Jesus, PS3, you've only been doing this for, like, 10 years. Actually, this version of the PS3 I got isn't even 10 years old, so it shouldn't be that bad. Okay, audio is fine, so if I press skip... Then we get to the next scene, and now we have audio. <laughs> Oy vey. Thank you all for sticking through this. It does, uh... does mean a lot to me. <笑>私の名前は月姫蘭子。お雑誌の通り、全世界の月姫駐車場を牛耳ってで、月姫財閥のお嬢様。これまでの人生で、もう何万回以上月姫しゃこったと名で呼ばれて、少し前までは殺意
さてと行くか好き決めらんこさまですね Yeah, this is what I was talking about when I was talking about localization budget. You know what that art really reminds me of in CGI? It really reminds me of Fire Emblem. Like, it reminds me a lot of Fire Emblem. <laughs> Going back into、um, Chaos World. Dazzy's issue had too many ribbons. Am I talking about,、um, like, um, Awakening? Yeah, like the,、um, the cutscene、um, photos when like, characters talk to each other. Not necessarily the gameplay. Anyway, you're probably wondering alright, so what is this game? So, Niche Senpai, what, what game are we bringing to the table today? Well, this is another arcade style game. It's an arcade platforming rhythm game? I sort of put that last one in because it's, it's got a rhythm element to it. So when you hit enemies, special effects come out of them as you hit them. And you have to hit them in like specific timing sequences to start a chain. It's, it's rhythm not in the sense of like music, but it's more rhythm in the sense of like time slashes. It's kind of like, um,. A、uh, bit trip runner almost. In the sense that you're always wanting to run in one direction. You're always wanting to be out running something and getting to the end as quickly as possible with time jumps and、uh, timed attacks. And while you're also running through this really gorgeous looking backdrop, in all honesty, like it looks super stylized and cool. And it also looks really.、Um, It's like really responsive, or so, which is something else that I've noticed about it. It feels really good to play, even though it's quite、um, simple. Like, obviously, this is the first stage, so it's going to get a bit more, you know, complex as time goes on, of course. Plus, as I'm talking, I am doing way better,、uh, way、um, worse than my practice run, because I'm trying to focus on talking and slashing and paying attention to what's happening on the screen at the same time. But yeah, it just looks super cool. So, yeah, this was another one of those times where when, once I did this, I went, okay, I'm not going to play this for myself. I want to do this on camera, and here I am for Suda Month. It's, it's a pretty simple idea, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with a simple idea if you execute it well. And considering this is like a short arcade romp. Then、um, I think that's、um, pretty perfect for a game like this. Because,、uh, as far as I know, there are only five stages. So you can get through it right, relatively quickly, as long as you're, you know, good. Oh, it is actually Fire Emblem Awakening's artist? So, yeah, okay, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> Well, I recognize the art immediately, so. I guess I have a good eye for artists. Who the fuck steals a blue bin? I don't know. I remember when I was at uni and I used to go to Tesco with my, um. with my friends.、Uh, Tesco being basically our version of, like, the, you know, supermarket. The amount of things people would be able to do with a trolley. It's honestly kind of. like staggering. Slide. When you have enough momentum, tilt the left stick downward to slide. Well, I messed that up. Okay, good to know. Probably would have done way better if I didn't, you know, freak out at the tutorial coming up, but hey. Okay, I got wall bounces. 
Oh, great. Uh, okay, it's giving me new mechanics now. Obviously, after stage one, I decided, hey! I'm going to, uh... Well, that's a new one. Oh, god damn it. Oh, god. Oh, I only know stage one. I don't know what happens after stage one. Freaking JoJo Part 4 hands are going to grab me and maybe drag me to hell. Now that I think about it, this is re this really is like a um, rhythm game. Like, even down to the point where you have to go through stages multiple times to actually know what's coming up. Almost kind of like a Sonic game or so. Like, because when you go through a Sonic game for the first time, like, obviously I'm not a Sonic expert by any means, but I always get the sense that you have to go through it multiple times in order to actually know what the hell's going to, like, come up so you can react to it accordingly. Whereas the first time you go through, it's basically just trying to get a grasp on what's coming at you as quickly as possible. Maybe that's why I've always sucked at Sonic games. Because I never actually played them more than once, because they were never my cup of tea. Maybe if I actually gave one of the games I like a like solid shot of like playing through it once, learning the levels, and then going through it again. Maybe I'd uh, maybe I'd enjoy it more. You have enough of my momentum. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Slide, baby. Ninja Garden, eat your heart out. Whew. I saw a tro uh, tro uh, trolley in a 20 feet tree once. Yeah, that sounds about right. I don't think I've ever seen one in a tree. I've seen one on a roof before. I actually had to look it up because my first thought is it looks like Fire Emblem art. Well, you and me were both on the money, um, right on the money, Adrian. So yeah, that's like two stages out of like five already, so... Damn, this might really be a short one. Oh wow, especially if it just goes through all the stages at once. I was kind of expecting like cutscenes in between. Attack to deflect enemy fire, unless it's still giving me um... I mean, it's still giving me tutorial stuff, though. Maybe this is all just stage one. And it's all, like, different acts of, like, stage one. That would make sense. Okay, I can attack, um... An enemy's attack to deflect it back at them. So, adding more levels to... All the shit that I already can do. Man, it's so cool when you, like, attack the enemy and they have, like, different, like attacks that help you out depending on the enemy that um depending on the enemy that you actually attack so like these ones are like the electric guys i think no uh they're not the electric guys see this is what i'm talking about i actually don't know what i'm talking about because um i just sort of go like oh yes those are like the electric guys i was dealing with are they the same guys no not in the slightest okay go 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 take the high path if this really is like sonic high path is the fast path Go shoot you back. Also, overshot that. Yep, I am a speedrunning master at this, I swear. First time. I think that's my favorite attack so far, the one that just spins around. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is fine, this is fine. I don't need to use it yet. Just go slash enemies in rhythm. I know rhythm games. I play DJ Max. I mean, not the hardest difficulty like a bunch of insane people can, but you know, I can hold my own. Sort of. Right, shoot back, shoot back. Got plenty of ammo so I can afford to do it. 
And I don't even know why, what's happening at this point. I think I just sort of entered a bank at some point. Still trying to, like, kill my father. Apparently rooms can have keys now. But whatever, I made it to the goal. Bit trip anime runner. Basically, yeah. Funny enough, Kozaki has been doing character design for Suda Games for a while. Really? Yeah, I could totally see that, actually, but this one was the most obvious, just because it's literally the exact same, like, setup of, like, character in visual novel setting. So it made it, like, super obvious. I've always loved rhythm games, just because... It's actually kind of for a really bad reason, because I, I'm, I'm a super per, uh, perfectionist, as some of you might know when it comes to some games. Like, I really feel like I need to get a perfect in some cases. And like, rhythm games really tap into that idea of like, man, I just want to get that perfect run, you know? I just want to get that perfect run, no misses, no nothing. You know, and then getting that 100% like max high score combo at the end. So it's maybe m not healthy for me to do it, <laughs> in theory, because you know, I've always had a I've always had a problem of being a perfectionist with things. I remember like when I did like you know assignments, I would I would freak out about the smallest little details. And I would spend way too much time trying to correct details to the point where it would, you know, actually cause... Uh, problems. Because... I would spend way too much time in one area, basically... Trying to get that one part perfect, and it's like, oh, I've only done like 25%, and I'm supposed to be at 75% by now. Same when I do, like, video stuff. It's the exact same. Like, there's definitely some things I've gotten better with. Like, there's some things I allow now, which... I think is good. Like, overall. But not when I play rhythm games, man. When I play rhythm games, like... That shit's gotta be perfect. You missed that note? Bet your ass are gonna be starting all over. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh crap, 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 crap. Okay, shoot backwards. Man, there's totally gonna be a like. There's totally gonna be a um finny, which is basically like beat the whole game without shooting backwards once. I know there's a trophy in this game for beating it without dying, which you know, I'm not gonna promise I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna give it my best shot. Alright, jump, jump, jump. Go through this parking uh, parking area in the middle of the void, it looks like. x Death is getting ready to pop out at any second. All right, all right, all right. Sending deeper to send the deeper. Oh shit! Yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted the first time. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Shoot backwards. Give myself more time. Look at all the pretty artifacts, which are on the screen for only a split second. Alright! And then suddenly train. Well, there's Cloud Strife on there. Are we going to, are we going to raid, um, are we going to raid Maker Reactor 1 now? 
That'll be one hell of a twist. But yeah, people should make compilations of trolleys in weird places. In the UK especially. Like, the UK specifically. Get one good and all the rest great. It's not good enough. Ah, But I'm trying. I kind of like that. I keep falling and getting perfect. So I, I, it, I just get quite... Um, I just quit. That's fair. I'm too stubborn to do something like that. Oh yeah, I know you live in the UK. Well, this is the thing, when you go into a game blind, you don't know what you're expecting sometimes. I was expecting at least some cutscenes in between. Or like, visual novels, like segments at the very least, but... I guess... Not? Unless it's just going to dump a whole load of like, exposition at the end, which it would not be entirely unlike Suda. I would almost expect it at this point. Alright, alright, alright. Shit! Should have jumped there. My reaction times are... Super bad. But, I mean, I could kind of be excused a little bit because I think... Actually, I think this game's running at 60? I'm not entirely sure. It might be running at 30. If it's running at 30, I could totally blame the frame rate in that case. Good, jumped up there, but I don't want to stop moving. Just don't stop moving. Just keep going to the right. Even if it's a shitty path, just keep going to the right. Could have absolutely jumped up there, but whatever. Could have probably jumped up there too. Man, this, see, this is what I'm talking about. I'm literally going through this game and all I'm noticing is all of the jumps I'm missing. Even though there's no way that I could have known they would be there. <laughs> I'm like, no, but I missed it though. If only my reaction times were like a few milliseconds better. Alright, alright, alright. Go, 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 go. Kill all the enemies. What? I made it to the goal already? But, alright, so, okay, here's the thing. Is, is the game over? Because I thought there were only five stages. So... So what happens now? Speaking of which, I now have the itch to play Project Diva. Man, I really love playing Project Diva. I'm not really much of a Hatsune Vocaloid Miku person. But man, I love playing those games. The gameplay makes up for it. I mean, the songs are okay. I'd also like to point out that the animation style has completely changed. Also, I'm sorry, does she have the solid eye, like, inbuilt into her eyeball? Also, was that sniper rifle a violin?
やっぱりキララだはい嘘でしょランコ様お急ぎくださいおかわりにしてくださいおそはよルチドーランコ大きくなったら立派な女子になった誰最後の儀式だ。さわんな。なんだ、今の。深町。拷問も無理だからできればサクッとやってよね急ぎ娘さんで<笑>なんて嘘ソここはやっぱミゲルが勝ちっしょうこの娘小麦切れにしてやるぜ So I do get to play more game? Oh my god, god that suitcase does say 51 of it Of course it does Maybe it's five levels, not five stages. I'd be totally okay with that. All right, okay, here we go. Boss fight. This is more like it. Okay, I got worried for a second. I was just like, wait. Did the, did the game just, uh. Came just lied to me also. Holy shit. Okay. Well, guess I'm not doing that no die challenge. And now we're back to the counting. Do we really have to do a death count for every game I do now? Is that just going to be the thing? All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm starting to see. I'm starting to see. I'm starting to see. Go, 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 go. Well, that's one dead. I just need to somehow get to the other one. Okay, 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 okay. I understand, I understand. Colored ones are the places I need to kill them. All right, all right. Just don't die, Ranko. Just don't die. We got a job to do, even though I think we did it. Maybe. Oh, God. Asshole! Don't shoot me! Alright, 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 alright. Shit! Oh, I mistimed that. I'm gonna have to start from the entire like, beginning of the stage, aren't I? Yep! This is not an arcade, this is an arcade game, alright. But I'm curious how many stages there are actually in this game. この世を離れる前に一つだけ下から追ってくるハグルマに触れると即死だ Do this and then get hit by God, day is definitely being more of an asshole than night which is kind of true to real life and how I feel, because I'm way more of a night owl. All right, all right, all right, all right. As long as 
I don't get hit, but it's good enough for me. Slowest slide in the world, I'll take it. That was completely not worth it in the slightest. Me and Lich decided this would be a perfect addition to the community, especially having multiple. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. It keeps you all involved, so I say go for it. Also, keep the lid dead. I like the lid dead. Hitbox, hitbox, hitbox. Hitbox for my sword is way bigger than it actually appears. Oh god, okay, just, just don't accidentally go off the side to my death. That would be not great. Shit, shit, shit! <laughs> oh man, well at least it's giving me my first actual challenge. Also, those two are huge! I just realized how big they were. Okay, uh, I don't know who you are. I'm assuming you're like my personal assistant or something. But I'm not entirely sure. Also, shit, 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 shit. Oh god, okay. Hovering sometimes. Cancelling my wall jump, which is a little bit annoying. Whatever, okay. Oh, I, I killed Knight. Okay, cool. So that means I only got one to uh, worry about now. Yeah, that is not that is not worth going for. In the slightest. God, my hitbox on my sword is huge. Holy shit. Okay, okay, okay. Take it nice and easy. Take it nice and easy. One, two, three, four. Grind the speeds up to keep the tension high because, of course, also, please, wall jump! There we go! And in true sensible fashion, the grinder explodes as soon as their controllers die, just like in real life. I don't know, maybe they go on auto self-destruct sequence, like, attached to their hearts, so when their hearts stop beating. Or they stop the grinders with their corpses, if you want to be more uh, bloody about it. That is also a tangible theory. Yeah, every so often, if you can add a bit of flavor to it, that'd be also pretty dope. Okay, he's actually just going to change animation styles every, like... Every time, isn't he? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. Man, the cutscene's so nuts that the subtitles can't even keep up. Also, I think that was an electric ball?
これが終わったらカラオケ行こうねマリコえっとマジでカラオケ超上がるんですけど、うん、またなんか来たよ Oh my god, the subtitles aren't even keeping up properly. <laughs> also, Moeke, why did you bring an entire crusade against you? Yeah, you know what? Me too. I think I'm a bit confused too. But I'm okay with this feeling. I've accepted it into my life. So I'm just going to hold on to it. Oh, okay, now we're just- Okay, now we're actually just doing Bob Motorcycle. Defeat enemies to charge your meter. Master shooting and elude the Legion. Who are the Legion? Why are they after us? Who knows? Man, Legion is super fast, though. Holy shit. Alright, danger. Uh, okay, yep, yep. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh, go take the high road, take the high road. Shoot the back. Don't have to worry about attacking, so I can just focus on jumping, I say, as I literally miss a jump. I was actually readjusting my thumb there for a second, so that was the worst time to readjust. Yeah, Moeko, Mo Moeko, I return to my earlier point. Why is a crusade of people after you? What did you do? Why do you have a secret life? Why do I have a secret life? Eh, whatever. Questions for later. I'm still living the here and the now right now. I'm on an, I'm, I'm on an Akira bike, so you know. I'm okay with this situation. Alright, alright. Oh shit! I missed the boost! Alright, okay. Yep. Just need to get the boost. Need the boost to get through. Just to make sure I get some ammo too. And it would be really great if the goal was right there. Thank you, video game. <laughs> yeah, you always will trip Automod. Automod is, um... Automod is, uh, extremely, um... Fuck, what's the word? <laughs> oh my god, what's the word? It's d uh, discriminate. That's the word. It's discriminate against fluffy tails. I'm very sorry. 59 hours on the keeper's trip. Oh my god, I need help. I've spent too so much gil just trying teleporting everywhere for crafting. <laughs> Man, everyone in my chat's going insane. And you know what? That's fine because I'm going insane too. We could just all enter madness together. It'll be different kinds of madness for different things, but it'll be madness nonetheless. Oh my god, he's actually a Kamen Rider. Also, holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> yeah, that's the face I'm making right about now. <laughs> what is happening? I don't even know. You know what? Just accept it. Just accept it for what it is. Man, it all started out with a girl just living in a parking, you know, place, and that was pretty weird. Oh, now I actually have a life meter now. Uh, I want to shoot. Okay, got it. I will shoot the dragon and all of his body parts, which seem to be mainly his legs. Why did Karara turn into a dragon? She seemed so nice before and clumsy, and now I'm shooting her. All this and more will probably not get answered. But don't worry. It's all sometimes you just gotta be like, hey, it's all about the journey, not the destination, you know? Also, can I get rid of that tail? That tail is bloody annoying. Nope. Probably can't get rid of the tail. That'd be too simple. Also, ow! Alright, got like three hits to my name, and I'm almost dead. Cool. Oh no, I can attack the tail. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I just need to aim at it. There we go, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna go to this corner. Oh, okay. And then I'm gonna go down? Shit. 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 Oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> I did- I was so scared to move. Honestly speaking, I think this is more just to show off animation styles and techniques rather than actually having a coherent story. To be fair, a lot of the, like, a lot of, like, experimental animation pieces have, like, very basic stories or very, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They have very non-linear stories or, like, they're very, what's the word? There's a specific word I'm trying to think of. Where it's, where it's not simple, but not, like, complex, it's... Surreal? Is that the word I'm thinking of? No, that's not the word I'm thinking of, but you get what I'm trying to mean. Because the whole point is, like, to offer an a excuse for interesting visuals. Why in God's name are, like, 20% of Skyrim mods sex slash nudes mods? Because people are degenerates. I think I've proven that fact with the fact that I did degenerates week. Yeah, this isn't quite Toho. Toho levels of shoot 'em ups would be like 90% of the screen being covered. So, ow, god, I suck at not getting hit by that. Also, what am I aiming at now? Oh god, oh god! Oh wings, I'm aiming at our wings. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. go to the top, go to the top. Stay clear of the tail. All right. Man, you seem like such a nice girl, Karara. I really don't want to do this to you. You seem like nice and bubbly and kind of like, you know. All right, okay. The wind tells me which direction that he's gonna go. She, she, she's gonna go. I have noticed that fact now. Okay, now I can go off the, ow! Now I can go after your face. Yeah, hearts don't do that much damage. Just gotta be careful, just gotta be careful, just gotta be careful. Alright. Yeah! 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I killed my friend. Like all good friends do. I mean, I'm not into the degenerate side of those games. I just thought they seemed like really good games. Like, Senra and Kagura generally looked really fun. Senra and Kagura uh, genuinely is a lot of fun. All the games I played for that week were genuinely fun. Oh god, what animation style was it this time? Also, that is legitimately terrifying. Well, okay then. <laughs> Animation scares me. Did did Junji Ito come in for this part? ついに木ハムが開くのか。それとも yeah, I'm sorry, who are you? Pop Team Epic? This is a Pop Team Epic prequel and I just don't know it. Sober when making this game was Suda Sober when directing any games. Was anyone on the team sober? Are we just playing a sequel to LSD Dream Emulator? Man, that's a game I should play on camera. No, I'm not gonna play that game on camera. That's a lie. What? No, you can't have a game called Ranko Sukagame's Longest Day and then say 50 years later. That is not a day. That's like 18,750 days. Give or take a few leap years in there also. Okay, now I'm at Mount Fuji. <laughs> oh! Hello, Pomeranian! You are not a good boy. You are not a good boy! 
I thought all boys were supposed to be good boys. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Get back, Papa. I really don't want to shoot you in the face. But I will if I need to. I will not be eaten by a Pomeranian today. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No, get back. Well, at least the music in the background is pretty nice. It's pretty chill, for the most part. And hey, having that live feed at the background actually shows me what's about to uh, come up, so that's pretty nice. Well, I mean, within uh, reason. Okay, go, 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 go. Shoot you backwards because I've got plenty of ammo. Alright, alright, wall, wall clean. I swear to God, you gotta work. You gotta work for me, wall clean. Oh God, forgot to slide. Oh, out of control! Oh god, oh god, oh god, get back! Oh yes, please play LSD Dream Simulator! <laughs> I'm not going to say it's on the highest on my uh, to-do list, but eh, never say never. That's all I say. And then suddenly, Dodzilla, the demon Pomeranian. Rather have a Shiba. Yeah, Shibas are cool, but I got my lovely uh, I got my Yorkshire Terrier and Jack Russell Terrier right next to me. Well, actually, just the Jack Russell. He's asleep on my bed right now. He's totally fine with everything that's happening right now. He's actually sleeping... Perfectly soundly, <laughs> despite all of my yelling. You see, I think what I'm feeling is confusion. Hold on to that feeling. It means that, uh, it means you're still, uh, somewhat sane. You're all somewhat sane still on the inside. Yeah, you know what? I'm not even... I'm not even surprised. But what even is a normal one, though? What well, so does the Pomeranian have to be in the background? He tried to eat me. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep, this is what we're doing, I guess. Also, holy shit! So of course he's got a guard. Do I get a guard? No, I don't. Of course I don't. Ah, I see what I have to do. There we go! Okay. I see what I can use as my attacks. Also, he is actually wearing... We're actually wearing multiple masks. That's kind of amazing. Oh, what the 
hell is this ball? Shit! Alright, alright, alright. Okay, the enemies don't hurt me. That's good. That's good. Alright, alright. Now there's only one. There's no only one. No more bullshit. Kagane no Shino Jutsu for you. Please don't do that. You're scaring me. Okay. Now she's going around. And I got a wombo combo. <laughs> I, I'm winning, but I don't know how. Oh wow, I actually got the real one. I actually got the real one twice! Cool! I guess I won! Kage Bunshin. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Look, I haven't done my, um, I haven't done my... Naruto in God knows how long. Maybe they're all real, despite the fact that I, you know... Took them all down, and there were some that disappeared. Oh my god, we're back to normal CG. Thank Christ. Yuriko. Arigato. You know what, Killer is Dead? I'm sorry. I'm very sorry that I said your pl your plot was absolute nonsense and you didn't explain anything with your world. I do truly apologize now. Because now I realize that that was only the tip of the iceberg of what could be unexplained. <laughs> この瞬間のために生きている。意識は街を巡り、夜を駆け抜け、電磁と電波の波に乗って、私はパルスとなり、バラバラ散り散りになって空を飛ぶ。最強のファイアウォールを突き破り、一点だけを目指して、偽物の
そこで待ってたのは本当の自分と。友達かなあの日に戻って私の日常がアニメーションズファイアニメーションズファイナルフォーム The Real World You know what? Just dance, everybody. Sorry. Yeah, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I don't want any Galactic War. I'm done. <laughs> well, that was an interesting experience. That's what I'll call that. Like I said, this was part of a, you know, experimental, like, bunch of different animations. So, you know, when someone came up to Suda, or when Suda went up to whoever and was like, Hey, I heard there was something experimental going on. I'm a pretty experimental guy. I feel like I can make something. And they were like, sure, go ahead, make whatever. Once they said those three words. That was it. All all bets were off. <laughs> Look at all the money that they saved on voice actors. You'd never get anything like this from a Western dev. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. Like, real talk. I always, you know, I, I like... Guys, I know this is going to come as a surprise, but I really like Japanese games. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's, it's a shocking revelation, but... I like them for this reason, because you get weird stuff like this, where, you know what, they got a bunch of people together... And you just sort of, like, make whatever the hell this is. Or a game about going through a dungeon to increase your boob size. Like, you just can't get that same type of thing from anywhere else in the world. And that's not discrediting, you know, Western devs at all. Like, there are some really good Western-developed games. In fact, a lot of my, you know, favorite games of all time are Western, you know, developed games. There's a lot of good ones out there. But, you know, it's just, it's, it, it is honestly a very different mentality, you know. you Because, you know, when you get, Western development teams usually are uh, a group effort. You know, a whole bunch of ideas rolled into one. You never really hear about the directors of Western-developed games as much as you do... Japanese developed ones, you know, you, you know, uh, we got, you know, Hideo Kojima, Tetsuya Nomura, Suda51, Swery65, Iga, you know, all the, um, um, you know, Yu Suzuki, Yuji Nakamura, you know, all these, like, West, uh, these Japanese 
directors that I can name off the top of my head. And like, if I, if you, if I went to you, all right, name me the director of the most popular game in the world: League of Legends, Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed. I think I know my, I think I know Assassin's Creed, but they're all different directors. But you know, that's the point I'm trying to make. You know, it was short-lived, and I think that's all it needed to be, you know? The fact this game is like an hour and a half at most, at absolute most. It's the perfect length for a dumb weird game like this. I could never imagine this game lasting eight hours. That's too much. But you know what, it's like an hour long romp. It's pretty fun. The only problem is that the SRB over here in America is complete bull. I mean, America, Australia, you know, it's... It's... I always find it really funny. この戦いは終わらないみたいだけどこの物語は終わるまた繰り返し繰り返し戦ってそして新しい物語が語り継がれるまるで終わることのないゲームみたいに You know what, Ranko? I think I'm okay with that. <laughs> I think I'm okay with your story coming to an end. <laughs> You'll need therapy if a game like this goes on for eight hours. <laughs> Were you supposed to get a higher score to unlock the real ending, the one that made sense? No. Would you think that I would... If Sudo was going to put another ending in, it would be an ending which you unlock which makes even less sense. If you get the bad ending, you get the ending which makes sense of everything. If you get the good ending, then it makes everything make less sense. That's how I would develop a pseudo game. The better you do, the less sense it makes. Man, what a game. <laughs> what a game. 